Yes guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we will return to Brunton Park as Kyle Office Tranmere. Nigel Atkins Rovers are yet to face a defeat in this year's campaign, placing them in the 12th spot, a point from playoffs. In their most recent match against 3rd place Walsall, they won 1-0 with a goal coming from ex Carlo winger Amari Patrick. Also in their team sheet is Christian Dennis who played for us alongside Amari two seasons. Last week we suffered a 3-0 away loss against MK Dons, so we're looking to change in this game against Tramier. Between last week and the deadline, we lost Dan Butterworth to Swindon and signed midfielders Jordan Jones from Wigan on a three-year deal and Harrison Biggins on a season-long loan from Shrewsbury. Last time we met was at an electric Brunton Park where we won 2-0 and we haven't lost against them since 2021. Shout out to Aidan Harris and without further ado, I'll see you down there. Right, so we've got brand new banners on the side of the ground, uh, which include the brand new home and away kit. So Mark, what's your score prediction for today's game? I'm going to say 2-1 Carlisle. Right, Jude, what's your score prediction for today's game? 2-1. Aye, so we're about to go in through the turnstiles now, looking clean as well, brand new. Yeah, they're absolutely class, aren't they? Yeah, so this is a proper look around the Warwick fan zone, while there's not many people in. It's just class, really spacious as well. Uh, turnstiles, I love them. Yeah, so we came in really early. I think we're going to go into fan zone two um, and get some scran too. Yeah, so uh, Carla United have just started doing football cards. So I've got Gabe Breeze here. I don't know how it really works because I didn't pay for it. They just gave me it. Uh, yeah, it's really cool. Great idea. Yeah, so look, um, I've got Gabe Breeze to sign this card. Great. And pie review. Uh, to be honest, it's a bit bad because they never gave me a fork. But other than that, 7 out of 10. Pretty solid. Scotch pie. Right, yeah, there's about 45 minutes till kickoff. Olga the Fox just gave me some sweets. Uh, goalies are training. We're standing here for a bit while we wait for um, it to fill up and then we'll go back where we normally are. All right, so I'm here with good old Matthew Boyd. What's his score prediction? 3-2, Carl, I'll up the blues, come on. Right, there's not long at all until um, the players come out, about five minutes. So uh, yeah, filling up really nicely. They brought quite a lot of fans because they've got a really good fan base. Come on, you blues. Right, the players are coming out for kick-off. Come on! Right, let's kick off. There's Amari Patrick there, number 30. Oh no. Oh, get out, get out. Oh! Amari Patrick scored. Ah, uh, unlucky. But yeah, that's one nil to Tramia already. Uh, Mari Patrick scored. Fair play to him for not celebrating properly. Um, respect to him for that. Go on. Get in! 
game. Already 1-1. Already in the seventh minute. Come on. Can't out. Get in. Wow. Already 1-1. I can't believe it. This is going to be a close game today. Right, it's another free kick to Carlisle, come on. Ooh. Oh, we still got it. Oh. Come on, Terrell. Cross, oh, caught by the goalie. Oh, go on. Oh. oh, good. Cross it. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but there's a guy stood up there above the Rickaby sign next to the scoreboard. Oh. Trummy on the ball now. Cross by Tram here. Oh, oh, good defending, good defending. Oh, man. Never. Oh. Right, free kick to Tram here. Yes. Right, it's a free kick to them outside of our box. Headed away by Aaron Hayden. Cross in, go on! Oh. Oh. Right, it's a corner for Tramia. Taking shot. to Mario Patrick's second goal. It's 2-1 to trap me now. Yeah, it's the 39th minute here. Really good goal by Mario Patrick there, I can't lie. Uh, just a shame we're losing 2-1. Two, two Right, so yeah, that is half time here at Brennan Park. 2 1, it's not the greatest, really, is it? Not as bad as last week. My Patrick scored twice. A really good goal from him as well. I uh, hope all changes in the second half, but other than that, come on, you blues. Okay, so yeah, the new half time challenge is here, the big shot. Um, this time it's in the Warwick, which is really much better for us because we get a better view of it in the middle of the goal. So yeah, hit through that target, win a thousand pounds. So yeah, come on. Ah, oh, nowhere near. I bet this would be dead hard to be fair, so yeah, fair play to everyone that's doing it. Right, so the players have came out for the second half. Shooting um, against Warwick this time, so come on, let's let's make a change in this game. Alright, so that's kick off for the second half here. Come on you blues. Come on. Oh that was good, that that was good. Archie Davies. Pass to Jordan Jones. Uh, oh look it though. Alright, so Dion, what is his score prediction for today's game? I know it's already the second half and we're losing 2 1, but what is it? Um 3 2 Kyle, last minute winner up the blues, come on! Come on! Oh, ah. Unlucky, unlucky! Come on! Cost! Caught by the keeper. Come on. Oh, corner. Come on. 
Ref, man, he was pulling on his shirt. Cross. Ooh. Headed out by the Tranmere player. Come on, Melish. Crossed. Oh. Oh. Right, free kick. Oh. What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, go on. Ben Williams. John Melish. Come on! Oh! Oh! Come on! Oh! Oh, go on! Ben Williams! John Jones! Dominic Saddy! We've still got the ball! Just passing it about! Go on! Go on, John! Ah, oh, it's not about that! Right, corner for Tramia! And it's 2-0 to Everton against Bournemouth, so up the toffees on that one. Oh, that was great play, that. Great. Oh, great. Oh, great decision, great decision. Why, it's a free kick to Carlisle. Jordan Jones is taking it, but it looks like it's going to go short and pass it to Dominic Saddy, but I don't know. Oh, he's crossed it. Great, great, great. That's good, that's good, that's good. Go on. Oh. Oh, go on. Oh. Oh. Come on, John. Crossed. Oh. Okay, so it's a free kick to Carlisle United. Crossed it in. Oh. Oh, even a draw would be good here at this point. Two, two minutes. Oh, come on. Oh. Yeah, there's literally a minute left, so even a draw would be good here. Go on. Go on, Dominic. Oh. Come on. Oh, come on. Minute left of extra time. Oh, come on, John. Oh, there's no one left. Yeah! That's a pen. Come on. Oh, please, please, come on. Oh, man. That's how it is. Oh, man, please. Oh. Full time. Two one loss. Zamari going in through the tunnel. Simmer got a really bad reception there after that 2-1 loss. I'm gutted. I really am. But fair play to Marzi. So anyway, that is full time in this vlog against Tramia. Just not great at all, is it really? Amari Patrick scored twice. His second goal is amazing. He's a great player and we know that. Uh, but yeah, things have to change for us or else we're just going to have a really bad and boring season again. Uh, but yeah, next up, I think we've got Nottingham Forest under-21s in the EFL Trophy. Uh, if I get to that, I'll do a vlog on it. If not, the next vlog is going to be Bradford City away in EFL League 2. So I'll see you in that one. Breaking news, Paul Simpson has left Carlisle United along with Jake Simpson, Billy Barr and Gavin Skelton. This is just absolutely mental. I'm really sad to see Paul Simpson go. I mean, he was a great manager. I know it's not been working really well for the past season or so uh, but the first season he came back in we were about to get relegated came and save us uh, second season he was here got us promoted through the playoffs uh, the season after it just went downhill for him uh, yeah sad to see him go thank you for everything paul simpson